Hi everybody, Carl here, KE0JWK. Um, my uh, big fan dipole 160 uh, to 10 uh, came down back at the end of June, right before I went on vacation. Haven't had time to touch it since, but today I'm uh, rebuilding it, making some changes, and putting it back up. You can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a uh, uh, connection point in that big pine tree there. It's still got a ways to go. I uh, that's as high as I could get it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it's been up. My my fan's been up uh, for I don't know about two and a half years now, I believe. And uh, it ran from that pine tree across the center point was up near the top of this big cedar. And the other end, uh, I don't know if you can make it out, is up in that oak tree there. Um, so what I had was a. Um, a true fan it uh, it got wider as the ends went out um, and uh, I did that based on a lot of research and everybody that uh, uh, I saw that was running a fan those that had a widespread uh, seemed to be much much happier with their fan dipoles so uh, this time I thought I'd do a little experiment and I'm not uh, uh, quite bringing them as close together as the wires as close together as some do but I am uh, bringing them together I'm spacing them about a foot apart uh, so here's the one half um, that I've already got uh, just about completed uh, rebuilt uh, let's see if I can get us on let me spread this unzoom a little bit uh, there, there's a center connector there and uh, I'm using uh, electrical PVC conduit for the spreaders. The, uh, it's in, still in good shape. Like I said, it's been up for about two and a half years. But what I've done is I've shortened them all to give an, a, an even, approximate one foot spread on the wires this time, as opposed to it getting the, those uh, pieces of PVC getting longer and longer um, as I went out toward the ends. Um, I don't know if you're picking up the wires in this. Hopefully you are. Um, you can see them there and it's kind of underneath that tree limb up there in the pine at the moment but uh, this thing will stretch across the roof of my house um, I've got it pulled off to the side right now and if you can it's hooked on the wires and then my connection point oh, you can't see it those limbs in the way from here but anyway I thought I'd uh, just show you all what I was doing and uh, like I said I thought I'd do a little uh, little experimenting this time um, more evenly spaced them wires uh, not real close together but they're a foot um, previously the, the the five wires at the very first spacer uh, that spacer was about seven feet long um, and then they got longer they really didn't get any longer than eight feet on any of them because every time you got a spacer you're losing one wire but uh, so by the time I got out here to this third spacer, um, these three wires had four foot in between each of them. Um, let me unzoom a little bit if you can see what I'm talking about. The uh, with this being an eight foot an eight foot piece of conduit, wire number two was down here, and then that extended down lower, and wire number three was was about eight feet uh, from the top wire. So it, uh, it was a big, massive antenna. It's still a big, massive antenna. There's uh, 520 feet of 12-gauge wire in this antenna. Uh, so it's, it's big, long, and, and uh, very heavy. If you can uh, uh, grab a spool of 12-gauge wire and pick it up, uh, you'll see, uh, plus another 20 feet, you'll see how heavy this antenna is. Just imagine that hanging out in the middle of a... <laughs> between uh, these two trees. Um, anyway, that's the update. Um, I'm going to finish uh, putting the other side two together. I'm working on it right now and uh, getting close to done. I'll connect the centers back up and uh, get it uh, pulled back up in the air. I don't know if I'll finish it today because the wind's picking up and I can feel the moisture in the air changing, but hopefully I'll get it back up this weekend. Um, I'll update you later. Thanks for watching. KE0JWK.